Hey guys, it's Jay and today I'm here with a super exciting review. I was asked by Fierce Reads Macmillan to participate in a blog tour for Death Prefers Blondes by Caleb Roherg and oh my god. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars. I'm officially obsessed with it. I love it so much. So without further ado, let us get started. <laughs> this book follows Margot Manning who is living a double life. By day she is a teenage socialite with a reputation for trouble but at night with the help of four drag queens, she is able to pull off the toughest heist imaginable. But when bad news regarding Margot's personal life comes to light and a job goes wrong, she needs to decide what to do and who she can trust before she puts those she loves in danger. So this book is pitched as RuPaul's Drag Race meets Ocean 8. And if you know anything about me, you know that I am obsessed with RuPaul's Drag Race. So when I was asked to join this tour, like, you know your girl was here for it. I was beyond excited to pick up this book and it definitely did not disappoint in any way. The book is so fast-paced, keeps you on the edge of your seat the entire time you're reading it. The action fight heist scenes were so well done. You could like see the drag queens kicking some ass in your mind. It was so vividly told. I think that the book was very well written in a way to make you invest in the story and these characters. You wanted to know what was going to happen to them, you felt for them, you sympathized with them, you just like needed to protect them at all costs. Like I said, you were just fully invested in these characters and the secrets that they were hiding. I also really loved the alternating perspectives between the characters. It was told through paragraphs so you would get like Margot's perspective and then one of the drag queen's perspectives and then back to Margot another drag queen and it was just really cool to see how the characters were hiding their secrets and the mystery behind everything it was really well done. The book has such an incredible cast of diverse characters like I loved every single character in this book. You can't help but become fully invested in each queen and their backstory. Each queen has their very own specific reason for why they joined Margot's crew and why they become thieves in the first place. Axel Moreau aka Lisa Von Tramp and his brother Joaquin Moreau aka Anita Stifwan are trying to keep their family afloat. Leif Darby aka Electra Shocks is trying to pay his tuition for an elite ballet school so that he doesn't get sent back to his very homophobic family. Devon Stokes aka Dior Galore is trying to pay off the debt that his drag mama has acquired from her pill obsession. Then you have Margot Manning aka Miss Anthropy and she is so fierce and loyal and I just love her character so much. The characters relationships between each other are so well written. The brother relationship between Axel and Joaquin is just so heartfelt and like you sympathize with them so much and you just want to squish them so badly. The brother relationship, the romantic relationships between between certain queens and the friendship relationships were just so well executed. I loved every single one of them. I also think that the diversity in this book was amazing. There are so many characters of different nationalities and three of the queens are persons of color. Margot is bisexual and you see her in relationships with multiple different genders. There's also a non-binary side character which I think was such a great inclusion because there's not enough rep for that at all in the YA genre or in pretty much any genre in my opinion. I also really loved Margot's love interest Dallas. He's also a person of color and he is just so sweet and just a little cinnamon roll and I just Oh, I love him so much. The banter between the two of them is so well done. I think that this book is very heavily dialogue based, but it's such fun dialogue that I personally loved it. I also really loved the two relationships that formed between the queens. I think that the book is extremely sex positive, which I 
loved seeing in a YA novel. I also don't think that that is explored enough in these kinds of books, so I loved seeing that. If I had to give one complaint for this book, it would be that in the middle it did drag on a little bit. I mean, the book is clocking in at almost 500 pages, so it's a pretty big book, but personally I still really loved the entire thing. I was so invested in these characters and the story and the mystery that you were trying to solve. Honestly, I could go on and on and on about how much I loved this book, but I think that you guys should all just go out and purchase it. It came out January 29th in 2019, so it's out right this second, so y'all really need to go meet these four queens and Margot. All Alright guys, so that was my review for Death Prefers Blondes. I highly, highly, highly recommend this book to you guys. Please go check it out. Let me know down below if you've read it yet or if you're planning on picking it up and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! Yeah.